I have the passion to post another video from a response from an Alex Joan video I posted. And this pretty much makes my point of why I'm objecting to what Alex Jones is doing. I'm all for we need information. We need to find out everything that's wrong. I, I support Alex in that end of it. But the way in which he's doing it is encouraging so much anger and rage. Um, this one poster Canadian taxpayer has definitely got severe rage going on inside of him. Something is not going right with him. And he's perceiving that I would be his enemy, that I am the cause of all of the problems that he's experiencing. People on welfare and people on welfare are just lazy. At the same time, he seems to agree that there's legitimate reasons why people should be on a welfare system. Now, the only reason I am on a long-term disability is because of a lot of the systems that aren't functioning. We have laws that we do not want to enforce. I was in an abusive relationship, which I was told, leave, and it's, um, I knew it was going to be next to impossible to leave. I had four children to feed. How am I going to feed them? I was a stay-at-home mother, not my specific uh, um, choice, although I was part of that agreement. We were in a marriage. We were raising children. They needed parents. One parent should have stayed home. Not to mention, if I went to work, most of my wage, well, I would have to actually pay more than my wage to pay for the daycare. So there's legitimate reasons why I was a stay-at-home mother. And then once I left, I had already, before I left, tried to get employment. And I was competing with over 100 people for one job. And every one of them had more experience and younger than me. I had no chance in hell of getting employment. So to leave abuse, listening to people that say it's safe, no. And I had four children to feed. And this deadbeat, not only did he not pay child support, but apparently in this country, you could go to court without serving the other party and lie about whatever you want. So for the past 10 years, I, I'm dealing with the reality that the court systems actually believe the children live with him when they live with me, and I've been paying him child support. So while trying to survive and uh, supporting my children, which amounted to the best was $1,200 a month working in a factory, working 12 hours a day, seven days a week, which is the only thing you can do while you're dealing with this level of abuse. Abuse definitely does not stop when you leave. It increases. And then you have a police system that actually supports abusers. You have a justice system that actually supports abusers. <laughs> and, and if you think that that's not going to do physical harm and emotional harm to you, you're a little bit out of touch with how what's really going on um, I have been medically approved to be on a welfare system so if you want to say that there's legitimate reasons I think I pretty much qualify I have every joint is completely destroyed from working as hard as I am so you can't say I'm lazy if I'm on this system because I work so hard the elbows are gone the shoulders are gone, and then I deal with fibromyalgia, which a lot of people think that that's not a real illness. It's just a made-up thing. Well, there's science that says we have this human um, instinct called fight-flight, that if you are in a terrifying situation, you'll fight or you'll flight. And what happens is you tense your muscles up when you're scared to death. When you're ready to fight, what goes on medically with the blood that goes to your muscles and the tension of 
of your muscles being so tight for so many years, eventually it breaks down. And trust me, it is a very, very painful illness to have, which I have. Um, it wasn't even just two months ago that I lost total use of my legs. I couldn't even move my hips to be able to get myself out of bed. I literally was dragging my whole entire body with my arms just to go to the bathroom in the morning. But yeah, this Canadian taxpayer seems to think that I am able to get up and go and get a job, that I am screwing the system. He can't realize that I'm not his enemy. He can't perceive through all of his anger that we're fighting the same thing. And this is what Alex Jones, all of this anger and war, war, war mentality, we will never understand another person's perspective. Now, at the same time, I'm totally against a welfare system because we this welfare system is a safety net for every single thing that's wrong. While I've been on this system, I'm noticing everybody's dealing with basically the same shit I have. They've all been victims of a crime in one way, shape, or another. And if you can't wrap your brain around the insanity that what was done to them and then deal with people like Canadian taxpayers looking down on them and judging them and putting them down, basically it's like we'll torture somebody and after they're tortured then we're going to judge them and, and really put them down. There's no compassion in our world anymore. We can't see what we are doing to each other and we, there's no support system. Why I smoke? <laughs> and this is more on a subconscious level and, and there's definite addictions that take control over your actions. But I smoke because of people like him. I don't have faith in, in humanity to get it. And if you smoke, yeah, it's basically a decision to die. Not that I'm suicidal. Everything I'm doing sort of proves that I tend to focus more on the positive things. But on a subconscious level, reprogramming that, that subconscious mind that says, you're better off dead these humans will kill you. You're better off dead. You know, I, today was the day that I was going to quit smoking. <laughs> and then I get this guy and it's like, I want another cigarette. He can't comprehend how his anger and frustration is actually perpetuating the problem that he hates the most. And if you will see on my videos, the whole purpose of this is to not buy into a lot of this crap that we're told. Half of these things that I'm dealing with, I've been told I'm going to suffer with this for the rest of my life. Now, what happened with my legs, generally, if, you know, if I wanted to believe the medical profession, I'd be flat on my back for more than six months. And I'm not. It only took me roughly three weeks of doing what's right and being responsible and accountable. And now my legs are functioning normally and I'm doing workouts, which I'm posting because I had to go through a period of calming down that fight flight. So yeah, and I, I looked at things as being on a vacation instead of being negative and down about being on a welfare system that I hate. I perceived as, okay, this is a vacation. Just calm down, relax, which I have, and the muscles are healing. But in order for me to get more use out of my muscles, I have to build that muscle mass again. So I wake up every day being responsible and accountable and work towards increasing the muscles so that I can get back to work. And I'm doing this whole video to sort of set the example. I know that people can't comprehend, hey, this is what we're doing to each other. You can't comprehend the words I'm saying. I realize you need to see the example. So while I'm perceived as having absolute, you know, I'm perfectly healthy and normal. No, you're judging me. You're seeing what you want to see. I am focused on being positive and making some changes so that I can be productive. But comments like that are encouraging people, don't even bother trying. Don't look like you're doing well because somebody's going to crash you down at, to the point, you know, as soon as you raise yourself up, somebody's going to tear you down. And I'm totally against that. You can't even see. I'm not your enemy. 
try and calm down a bit. Try and see something from a better perspective.